Well, good morning, everyone. Today we're reading from the first book of the Bible again, from God's Word, Genesis chapter 13. It's the ongoing story of Abram and Sarai. Of course, their names were later changed to Abraham and Sarah, uh, but God changed them. But uh, today they're still Abram and Sarai. And in our reading yesterday, God has called Abram and given him a, 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 an incredibly a strange request that he leave his land, uh, take with him his family and his clan and his livestock and everything else, but leave his land and go to a place where he will show you. And, uh, and of course, the most amazing thing is that he does it. And God says, uh, I'm going to bless you so that you can be a blessing to the rest of the world. And uh, when they arrive in Canaan, uh, which is of course modern day Israel, um, God tells them, this is the place where I'm going to send you. But of course, there was there, there were still challenges because a famine hits, and so they have to go to Egypt. And we wonder, will this be the end of God's plan? Uh, but of course, we find out that it is not. The famine does not change God, God's plan. And in fact, in the passage for today, Abram is about 76 years old, and he arrives back in Canaan in uh, the city of Hebron. And we look at verse 14, and it says, The Lord said to Abram, Look as far as you can see in every direction, north, south, east, and west. And then we go to verse 17, and he says, Go and walk through the land in every direction, for I am giving it to you. You know, as I was reading this passage, I, I got a, a really strong intuition from uh, the Lord, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's what he's telling me. He's telling maybe all of us. He's saying Paul and Terry and John and Mary and Jeff and Linda, and you fill in your name. He's saying, look all around you. Look at all that I've given you. Don't be short-sighted. Expand your vision. Don't, don't let your fears of, wow, are we ever going to be able to get back to what it was like before or, or this is the way it's going to be forever. I, no, instead expand your vision with new opportunities. And so God is telling us to look at our neighbors to the north and to the south and to the east and to the west from wherever we are. Look, because there is so much potential. And God has entrusted us to be his people in this unique time in history. And so like Abram and Sarai, we've been blessed and now he's asking us to be a blessing to the world too. And he says, I'll supply your needs, and I'll give you the wisdom and the guidance that you need, whatever you need, but I want you to use your imaginations. Dream God-sized dreams, because there are so many people in this world who are, are feeling isolated right now, who are without direction, and they need a relationship with Jesus Christ, and they need his community. So go now and be a light and shine Jesus to the rest of the world. And remember, he's never, he's, he's always with you. Go in his peace. Have a great day. If these devotional videos are helpful to you, subscribe to our channel and click the notification button so you know when we post a new video. And of course, please share them with others.